TouchNote is a website and mobile app that allows you to create custom cards. That's today's review, so let's check it out. Normally I do products in the as seen on TV genre, but today I'm doing TouchNote, which is a website and mobile app that allows you to create custom greeting cards, postcards, and other items. You can do it from the website or the mobile app, and it's been advertised on television. I ordered a couple items, and I want to let you know how it went for me. Rather than talking about TouchNote at home or out in this blazing hot park, I figured I'd take my wife out to dinner and talk about it there. So TouchNote is a mobile app and a website that allows you to send postcards, greeting cards, and other things right from your device. It's as simple as uploading your photo, typing in your message, putting in your recipient, and paying for it and sending it off. So I decided to try a postcard and a greeting card with TouchNote, and here's how it went for me. First up, I created a postcard, and I uploaded a picture of my dog, Bailey, typed in a message and the recipient, and you can choose between like one and about six photos, depending on what your design is. They also have some pre-made designs on there. So um, I did it on a Thursday night. Touch note, sent it on a Friday from Phoenix, Arizona, and I received it on a Saturday. Okay, here is the Touch Note website. Uh, they still have the Father's Day stuff up there, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna start off by sending a postcard. Um, so the postcard you can pick from multiple images. I'm just going to do a single image. I'm going to pick this picture of Bailey. There she is. Here you can write your message. Greetings from Las Vegas from your favorite golden retriever, love Bailey. Add recipients. Those will arrive in seven to ten working days. The quality of the postcard is very good. It's a high quality gla glossy stock. Um, it's as good or better than most postcards that I've used. It costs $2.99 to send the postcard, which if you get a postcard in the stores, sometimes for about 50 cents to a dollar plus 34 cents postage, so it's a little more expensive, but it is customized. Next up, I tried a greeting card. Greeting cards are a little larger. They have a glossy outside and a matte inside. I submitted on a Sunday night. It was mailed on a Monday, and it was received in Indianapolis on Saturday. It costs $4.50, and that includes postage. So really, looking at how much greeting cards cost in the stores, $4.50 is not a bad deal. I've paid more than that for just a greeting card without postage. All right, here we go. I'm gonna to go to greeting cards, and then I'm gonna add my photo. So once you add your photo, notice it automatically rotates it. And then I'm going to add a caption right down here. We'll try Aloha from Maui. So we'll go to the next, see the inside of the card. Uh, dear cousin, because that's where I'm sending it to. This is a fond memory of my vacation in Maui. Wish you were there. See you soon, James. Now I can go over here. I have magic writing selected. I'm gonna go down here and see his magic writing. That's how it's going to look on the final output. Hit next. And then this is where you add your recipients and you send it off from there. The interface of the app and the website is pretty straightforward. It's as simple as uploading a photo, typing in a message, typing in a recipient, using your credit card or debit card or PayPal and then sending it off. They have a feature called Magic Writing, which costs $3 for three months, but the first three months are free for most users, as far as I understand. So I use that for one of my cards. It's basically a fancy font, as opposed to the generic font you can use uh, for, for an extra charge. As far as the two that I used, I think that the greeting card was probably a better deal than you get in the stores. The postcard might be a little more expensive, but they are both customized. Here is the TouchNote postcard in its final form. You can see Bailey. Here's the back side of it. As you can see, it's a nice glossy stock. It's very thick. I think it came out really nice. This is the greeting card. There it is, my picture from Hawaii. When you open it up, it's got this nice matte finish. And then there's the back with the addresses on it, which I had to white out for this review. Once again, nice heavy stock. 
And as you can see, the text looks exactly like it was on the website when I did it. So there you have it. I think TouchNote is a pretty cool service, especially with the greeting cards, which I think are actually cheaper than going to the store, paying five, six dollars, adding postage and going to the post office. So next time I have to do a greeting card, I can guarantee you I'll be using TouchNote. I think TouchNote is a pretty cool service. Have you used TouchNote or service like this? Tell me what you think in the comments below. And please subscribe for more reviews from me, James White, with Frequent Reviews.